All right, welcome guys. So we're going to turn this uh, vapor into a uh, water vapor. So we only really need one part, and it comes from the Arisa Extreme Q, um, and it's this elbow here with the PVC piping. So if we go up to the top of the page, right here we go. This is the part we need. It's the Arisa Extreme Q three foot whip. This comes with a PVC piping. Uh, and the mouthpiece. You can buy it separate and source your own PVC piping maybe from a pet shop. Uh, the part here is a 18.8 millimeter elbow and that will adapt to the bong. So now if we go to a uh, website here, DHgate, this is just an example one. I use the D020-D glass bobbler which is the 18.8 millimeter connection. Uh, fits the Arisa Extreme Q whip perfectly, um, and it's also the cheapest one you can buy on this website. It cost me thirty-two dollars, including postage uh, to the UK, which was about twenty-five quid maybe. And it came within four days, which I was really impressed by. And it's yeah, it's a, it's a good little bong, although they call it a bobbler. Um, yeah, here it is. So all we really need to do to this is just take uh, the top part out and it's got a big hole in it if you have to put your own tubing in or whatever. So here we go, here's the Arisa Extreme Q whip. Uh, we take the mouthpiece off, the other end has the uh, elbow joint on and we uh, disconnect that too. We've also got a bit of leftover tubing for cleaning. Uh, we bought, I bought some extra mouthpieces because as you can see here, it's quite hard to, well it's almost impossible to remove it without cutting it um, and you might want to use your vaporizer without the uh, water connection every time so we'll put this pipe aside uh, simply all we have to do is take the existing mouthpiece off and uh, clip the new one in and that's it good to go so I'll uh, put some choice herbs in and give you guys a demonstration I do love the uh, the, the feed, the accessory that comes with this for putting it in, it's, it's amazing. It makes it so easy to load. Okay, so we put the top in to tap it down, lid on, and we're done. Okay, so what I do is I like to put it on this position so I can see the dials as I'm token from it. Okay, so I'll put it at 180 and uh, set that aside and get ready. Okay, so let's have a try. As you can see the smoke, the vapor's building up. Uh, it's still going into my lungs and I have to remove the thing to clear it. But, oh, nearly knocked over. But as you can see, I didn't hold it for too long to demonstrate, but you get a good a good hit from that and it's it's nice so uh this maybe lasted 25 hits or something i'm quite surprised and i was getting good totes from it before the smoke disappeared so i want to compare it to the volcano um i hit the volcano at 190 which was 10 degrees higher than what the water vapor was and i want to tap them out and just you know compare the two um so i'll scrape all this out Okay, so the volcano was hit at 190 till there was no smoke left, and the water vapor was hit at 180 till there was no smoke left. Uh, the volcano still looks slightly green to me, and the uh, water vapor is quite, there's nothing left of it, it's just ash pretty much. Now, tap them together and freeze frame it, and you can see for yourself there's a clear difference in the two. And I've had this for a few months now, and one week the uh, volcano stopped working and that's what I primarily used so I had used this for a whole week of only using the water vapor and after that one week the uh, small rubber seal on the inside here perished and had to be replaced so please be careful and please be aware that if you're hitting in the smoke coming out it's not necessarily good for the vapor or giving you the THC so when it comes to cleaning all I do is I uh, 
you see this one I've had for maybe two months and you can't really see any build up so you don't really have to clean it too much but what I do is I cut both ends off throw the PVC piping away uh, you see just cut down this side the best and run a knife in and I'll just pop those two bits in the IPA solution and swill them out and leave them to and just put fresh PVC in it's that simple so I hope you enjoy and I hope I may have been of some help to you again uh, enjoy <laughs>